Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C-sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss loops. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel then please subscribe the channel. So let's get started. So what is loop? If you want to execute your code some certain numbers of time then you can use the loops it is used to perform iteration in your code so let's see what it means with practical example and we have these types of loop in c sharp while loop to while loop for loop and for each loop so let's start with this while loop okay so here int x equal to 5 while x is less than equals to 5 sorry type here x equals to 1 while x is less than 5 then print console dot write line x type here x plus plus so what this code is going to do First we have initialized x equals to 1 and we are checking the condition while x is less than 5 print this x and increment the value of x. So first time so let's see how it is going to execute. So first time when it enters in this while loop so at first we have x equals to 5 it means condition is true and it will print 1 now again it will move to this while condition and now x equals to 2 again 2 is less than 5 which means true and it will print 2 now x equals to 3 3 is less than equals to 5 it will print 3 now the value of x has incremented now it is 4 and 4 is less than equals to 5 which is true again it is going to print 4 and if now x has incremented now x is 5 5 is less than equals to 5 which is also true so it will print 5 now x has incremented to 6 and x is less than equals to 5 which is false so it will exit from the loop let's see how is it working 1 2 3 4 5 so that is the case now we will discuss what is do while loop first let's see let's comment this code and let's copy this again and paste it here okay so if I write here x equals to 6 then it is not going to non, then it is not going to print anything because x equals to 6 now and x is less than equals to 5 which is a wrong condition so it is not going to print anything okay so it hasn't print anything but I want to print something even if a condition is false then we have to use this do while loop do and while x is less than 5 actually I'm wrong here I think it should be like this and yeah it's fine now it will at least move here once even if a condition is true or false it does not matter it will at least visit here once so that's what do while do so if x equals to 6 then it will print a 6 okay it has it has printed 6 
if x equals to 1 then it will behave like the previous program 1 2 3 4 5 so what do whiles do your execution will always visit here even a condition is true or not it does not matter in the case of do while but it matters in the case of while if condition is not true it will exit from the statement loop so that is our do while loop so let's move to the next one for loop and this one is my favorite one so let's type here for int x equals to 1 and x is less than equals to 5 x plus plus and it is much simpler console dot right line x so it is how a for loop works 1 2 3 4 5 and we will talk about this for each loop later in when we discuss about arrays now that's it for now we will catch up later